Okay, so you wash your hands, you brush your teeth, and most of us anyway shower daily, but are you cleaning the one thing that experts say carries the most bacteria? Jeremy Baker explains. How often do you clean your cell phone? Dr. Jason Bowling, an epidemiologist with University Health System, explains why you should be doing it often. We don't think of where the most bacteria might be, or it may not be the first thing that would pop to mind. Cell phones definitely can harbor a lot of bacteria and viruses. Think of all the surfaces you touched before touching that phone since the last time you washed your hands. People touch those cell phones even at times where they probably shouldn't be touching their cell phones. That includes in the bathroom. People worry about the toilet seat, appropriately so, but there's actually more bacteria when they do cultures of surfaces on cell phones, on door handles, than the seat itself. And hopefully you wash your hands thoroughly after using that bathroom because touching your phone is likely not far behind. Those cell phones actually can have bacteria and viruses on them as well. They can culture bacteria that you typically find in the human intestine um, on cell phones. All those germs from the bathroom right onto your phone. It happens when you eat too. You'll see people on their cell phones while they're eating and who knows what they're transferring at that time. They say sharing is caring, but that shouldn't be the case when it comes to your phone. Hey, check out this picture. Oh, let me see. Oh, wait, I want to see it. All three of them handled that phone and could have spread all sorts of fun things like E. coli, molds, yeasts, streptococcus, and a host of other bacteria. They hand it to all sorts of people and you don't know what they've done with their hands. So wear that gown by wiping that phone clean often. Going to get some wet wipes after work today now.